Now, gaming is big business globally. And today, we're seeing a number of young Ugandans that are trying to come into that space, innovating for that particular subsector. Take a look. My name is Richard Kavma, a game designer and a digital specialist. I'm here to present to you one of the educational games that I designed with my team. Game designed to enhance the learning efficiency of primary children, mainly in mathematics. Keeping the fact that mathematics is the worst done subject by children, me and team we thought of an idea that can help these children pick interest in learning mathematics. Of course, games are the first priority because a kid can spend almost 12 hours on a game on a computer. So, we came up with an idea of gamification. Gamification simply means the application of game elements into another activity. Well, we designed a game called Kamati. Kamati is a local name in Luganda, which simply means mathematics. The reason is why we used Kamati as a local name, to bring out the originality of Uganda, to show that the game is made from Uganda. How does our game operate? Well, this game, uh, this game has mechanics that help a player to interact with the game. For example, using a space bar on a computer to make the character jump, uh, using a control shift to make the color climb a wall, uh, get a rope, something, or maybe do any other activity in the game. Beyond game mechanics, there are some other game elements that we use to infuse the learning experience in the game. For example, we have interface responsiveness, whereby a screen pops up on the interface, gives the, uh, an assignment to the player. For example, going to the market and buy a pineapple, go back home and share a third with your siblings. With this idea, it brings out the concept of uh, the player knowing on how to work out fractions. In this game, we also have dynamic feedback. It's in form of notifications, which helps the player to alert him uh, the coins he has got in the game. Uh, if he has failed a question, it will alert him to go back and repeat the question. In addition to that, we use timers to create a sense of urgency to enable the player focus on a task in hand. Of course, for any game to be interesting, there is always an end goal and a win state. With this, we, when, uh, when the player passes a specific question or a set of questions, we reward him with, with coins. Besides being an e-learning platform, uh, we promoted our content here in Uganda, unlike other games like uh, Vice City, which promote content of the USA, luxurious cities like Las Vegas. So with this, we designed these environments in our games depending on the African settings. For example, the local markets, uh, the hilly areas, the grass thatched houses, which helps to bring out the originality of the game. To show what we have here in Uganda, one of the main challenges that we have had when developing these games is the, in terms of hardware, software, and skills. They are all costly, they are all expensive to afford. Most especially, we use high-end computers and render machines, which are expensive to afford. In relation to the current situation of the pandemic, you find that the primary kids have almost spent two years at home playing irrelevant games like action games, car racing games, and ETC. But in this case, you find that our game is relevant whereby they have a learning experience and at the same time have, having fun. Apparently, we have been visiting schools like to get feedback from the real consumers of the product and putting their reviews into consideration, which has helped us to improve the game. And after putting all those considerations into the game, we shall be able to share it on Google Play Store, Apple Store, and our website.